In this video, I'm gonna show you how to groom and tack your horse. First, I want you to see that April needs to be perpendicular from the wall and out into the aisleway, and right now she's a little crooked. So I'm gonna ask her to step over nicely and gently by putting a little pressure here and saying step, 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 good. And now she's standing straight towards the wall. Now we can start the grooming process. First grooming tool is called the curry comb. It's usually small and has these little ridged edges right there. Um, and this brush gets all the loose dirt um, or packed on dirt off the horse. You use it in a circular motion like this all over her barrel, her hip, her back, even her shoulder, and her neck. You do not use the curry comb on the lower part of their legs or their face. Um, those are more sensitive areas and they do not like the curry comb in that area. The next brush that you would use would be your stiff brush and this just sweeps away all that loose dirt and hair that you got up. And you do that in short motions like this and the direction that their hair goes. Once you've done that, you find the soft brush and you can feel the difference between the two brushes. One is very prickly and stiff, whereas the other one is very soft. So the soft brush smooths out their coat. And so you can do long, slow strokes like this all over their body. And the soft brush you can use on their legs. And if they have dirt on their face, you can use the soft brush to get the dirt off their face. If they don't have any dirt on their face, we wanna leave their heads alone, because that is their space and their area. Um, and other than that, we can use the soft brush all over. Their manes and their tails, if you have time to brush through them, go for it. Um, if not, it's not that big of a deal, because um, sometimes you are rushing to get into your class. Next is the hoof pick. Um, which usually has a nice little metal point and some of them have a brush on one side, some of them don't. So I always start with the front first. I'm gonna stand facing her tail, my shoulder against her shoulder and run my hand down her leg and she's lifting it up and I'm supporting her hoof. I'm gonna pick around the frog and get all the dirt and little rocks out of her foot. Uh -uh. So you can use the brush side to get away the things that you've already picked. Uh -uh. So this triangle right here in the middle of their hoof is called the frog. We do not want to pick, use the metal part on that triangle spot, but you may use it on either side. Now I'm going to gently set her foot down and go to the next leg. And as you can see, she's already ready to lift it up for me. And the back leg, I'm going to ease out, support her hoof and pick it out. and then gently set it down. And then I'd go around and do the same thing on the other side. So we are all done grooming our horse and now we can tack them up. So the first thing that I need would be her personal pad. Each horse has their own personal pad on the front of their stall. So I'm gonna take that, look to see which side goes first to the front. So typically the front of the personal pad 
has these little um, things attached or something like this down here. So I'm gonna put it over her back, make sure that it's up high enough on her withers, and then I can slide it into position. Then I will grab the saddle and gently place it on her back. Then you want to grab the saddle pad and cup it up here in front so it's off her withers, which takes all the pressure off her withers, which is what we want. And make sure everything's in position. And then you put on the girth. This side, so this girth has a stretchy side on one side and a non-stretchy side. So you actually wanna start with the non-stretchy side on the opposite side of the horse, which is over here. I'm going to put it on. And some of these billets, these are called billets right here, are a little uneven. So you just do the best you can to get them as even as possible. Now I'm gonna go over to the other side and I do not want this girth to be super tight right now. That is for the instructor to do once you're in the arena. So I'm just gonna put it on so that it is in place, but not very tight. I'm going to gently pull it and it's just nice snug, but as you can see, there's a lot more room in there. Okay, so her girth is on, the saddle's in position, the saddle pad is nicely off her withers. And so the last thing would be to put on the rainbow reins. So these just go over her neck and clip to the side of her bitless bridle like that. Then you can go around to the other side to clip on this side of the reins. And now you're ready to take your horse into the arena. So you would grab the lead rope and once the rider's ready, once the instructor's ready, you would take your horse into the arena and grab your wand. Thank you for watching How to Groom and Tack Your Horse.